In this video, let's create a views listing of cards. So this could be cards or teasers or search results or whatever we want. So the, the, the basics for uh, creating a view is the same, no matter what kind of view mode we're, we're going to use. So we've got our card component here that we created in a previous video. And some cards have images, some cards don't have images, some cards don't have any teaser text. So we're going to use these different variations to list our view. And that means that we can we can see you know what, what uh, what real world data is going to look like because it's great in the, in the design that every single title has the same amount of uh, characters in it and every single uh, card has an image and things but in the real world when editors get our CMSs they often don't have all those things. Okay so first off we're going to create a new pattern so we'll use our usual uh, npm run new command here and in this case uh, the pattern that we want to create again is in the content directory and we'll create it at the base or the root level of the content directory. And this time we're going to choose list here and that will give us templates for views and things like that rather than for nodes. So uh, we're going to use our twig, sass, uh, markdown and yaml files. We don't need JavaScript in this pattern. And we'll call this uh, cards. Okay, so this has created then the different files we wanted for a sass file, twig file, yaml file. Um, two YAML files actually, one for the, the views, uh, views view .html .twig file as it would be called in Drupal and the list items card is the views formatted or the views rows um, uh, file in Drupal. Okay, so we need to stop Pattern Lab and then start it again. And we need to now look at our, well maybe we'll just uh, refresh this page maybe first. It's not finished loading in Pattern Lab just yet, hang on now. Okay, so now we should have a list cards pattern we do here. And this lists four items. So if we open up our web teams, custom weather lab components, patterns, content and list cards, we can see these two files here, list cards and list items cards. What list cards does is this sets the, uh, the, the wrapper for the view rows and for the header, uh, exposed page, or all those view settings. And then the list items, that YAML file, is the actual content that goes into each row. So let's first look at the twig file here that we have. So this list underscore dot twig, all this is, actually I'm gonna open up all these because we're gonna view them in a minute and I can close the sidebar then. So what list twig does is this just extends uh, a different pattern called list slash list dot twig. And that pattern, which is here as our base, is pretty much just your standard Drupal um, views template. So it's, it's got the title variable here. It's got your exposed uh, variable here. It's got the header, attachments, and down as far as rows. And after rows, what rows does is that prints a, very, uh, a pattern called, uh, what we've called list items, which in Drupal would be the views dash dash on format at HTML that we can't remember the exact name of it. Uh, so what we have in our in our, in our uh, list cards pattern then is just a list.twig file that actually <clears throat> uses this list.twig file here. The only difference we've got between this and what you'd normally see in Drupal is that we've added a, a class called list so we can use dot list for our BEM naming conventions. And I've added a second variable here called the CSS classes. And what we're going to do is that anything that we set this variable here equal to, we'll add those classes then into the view in the views UI. Okay, so let's look at our list. We can close this one here down now because we're not going to use this anymore since it's just importing from or extending from this second list. here. Um, next down, we can see our list items. Well, maybe we look at. Uh, yeah, let's look at list.cards first. And uh, we can see that that the CSS variable, the CSS classes variable that we saw a moment ago, uh, we've got some classes in there. So we've got a class called list dash dash cards. So that's what we're going to say that when you're looking at a list or a view, uh, the, when the variation is card, what kind of, what, what, what happens? And we've got our uh, utility classes for layout contained and padding horizontal. So that just means that the uh, view is only going to take up whatever the layout contained class for this website is 960 pixels or something like that. And the padding horizontal means then when it's on a smaller screen, 
we'll have a small bit of padding, one REM of padding uh, on, on each side. Okay, uh, title we've set the folds. We set this defaults because this is actually only available in Drupal in the, for the views UI. It's not actually the title that gets used on a views listing page. And then the rows variable, uh, we've said that for that variable there, you're going to find the content for that in uh, the list items cards YAML file. So search in the content directory and then look for a file called list items cards. And list items cards is this file here. And what we've done here is we have included for each row, so each of these uh, dashes here denotes the, the next row. So for each row, we are including the pattern called content teaser. Now this is called content teaser only because uh, in our npm run new script, uh, this is what gets, gets added to it. So let's change teaser here to card. So we're gonna say include a pattern called content card. So the first row here should change for us. And there you can see now we've got a card on the first row and the other rows have teasers. So let's then say that we want a card for each of the other rows. We should now have four cards over here. Okay, looking good. And let's say on row two, we want the card to be the card with no image. Okay, so now we've got our standard card at the top, then we've got a card with no image, and then our standard cards as well. So let's say then uh, row three will be a card with no text. Very good, so a card, card with no image, card with no teaser text, and a standard card. And you can see then as well, what we've done here is when we include these, the PL class that was making cards smaller and putting them in the center, we've removed that because we're, the layout is now going to be controlled here from the uh, views CSS classes. So we, we said PL class then will be false. And we're overriding the label as well. So this is very nice that you can create a card in one place and use it anywhere else in Pattern Lab and override some, some variables. So we've got this as title one for the first one. And we could change that to this is title one in our list. Okay, and then to make this look very much uh, more like uh, uh, designs, um, or sorry, a CMS rather than designs, we could also say that the uh, card image will uh, include pattern basic elements image. Now, so far, this is the exact same as, as what we have. So if I save this, this will refresh, but it will be no different. And we can say then with image, sorry, let's go to the next line, with image source. So this is the variable that we've called in the uh, created in the basic elements image pattern. With the image source as let's just get it an image of something else somewhere else. So we look at maybe this I here. View the image and we'll take this URL here. So we'll say that the image source will be this. Okay, and we, using this kind of approach then you can have nice images from Unsplash or somewhere like that that will break up the design so we don't have the exact same image in every single uh, card component. And then we can change our card content goes here to something very, very long for some to see what would happen if there was longer content or what would happen if there was a longer um, a longer title or something like that. So let's maybe change our uh, title to be, let's say two sentences and we'll put that here. Okay, so this is a good long title so when, when things are going to run to more than one line. Okay, this looks good so far. Then we're going to add a small bit of uh, CSS. So we've got list cards and we're going to say the list cards dot view content. So that's the, that's this section down here where our rows are, list card dot view content. And we've got our, uh, our flex layout, um, mixing in our mixins directory. So we're going to say that view content will add include flex default. And what we're going to say is that when you're on a small screen, we want to have one uh, card in a row. And when you're on a medium screen, we want to have two. And when you're on a larger screen, we want to have three. And this default mixing kicks in then, uh, and it's got one REM each side of the cards, and uh, I think it's two REM on the, on the bottom to give us some nice spacing. So we'll click save on this, and this should lay out fairly well for us. 
Okay, this looks quite good. So we can see now that we've got uh, three cards in a row on a large screen. On a small screen, we've got one. On a medium screen, we've got two. And on a large, we've got three. And now that we're starting to work with real content or semi-real content, we can see that these things look a little bit different than they might have looked in a sketch file or a PSD or something like that. So let's say uh, dot list cards dot views row and we'll say for this that it has um just a display flex and things should line up properly for us then okay and that's that, that that's it that actually creates everything we need in pattern lab and since we haven't changed the, the drupal template we've got all the exact same uh, variable names that drupal has we actually don't need to do anything in drupal so if we if we look at our templates here and we go to views We've got a views-view.html.twig file, and all that does is extends content slash list slash list.twig. So there, there's no overriding of templates in this, and the same with our views view on formatter.html.twig. That just uh, that just extends the list items.twig file. Okay, so now if we come to our Drupal website here, and we can see we've still got our cards in our Drupal list. But in this case, the, the layout isn't correct. So let's come to our structure views. I will find our news view. Okay, so this is a view of unformatted list and using content with the view mode of card. And the CSS classes, we don't have any at the moment. Let's open this. And we'll copy in the CSS classes that we have added in our list.cards pattern. So when they come in here, and we click Apply and Save, this should then be enough to lay out this page the way we expect it to lay out from, the, uh, from, from pattern lab, the same as this. So we'll refresh our page here. And that's it. That's cards in Drupal, and that is views in pattern lab and views in Drupal.